Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the frequency division in the sweep circuit. We know already what do you mean by sweep circuit. Sweep circuit is nothing but a sawtooth waveform generator, nothing but a relaxation oscillator. Example for this sawtooth waveform oscillator, here we are taking an UJT relaxation oscillator. UJT relaxation oscillator, why it is UJT relaxation oscillator? So, capacitor charges for some duration and again discharges, charges and discharges. The discharging, whenever discharging of a capacitor is there to decide the frequency of oscillations, there we can say it is nothing but a relaxation period or relaxation oscillator. Now, in this particular UJT relaxation oscillator, we are having a capacitor. This capacitor is having two operations, one is charging and the one is discharging. Capacitor charging is done through this path RC resistance current is coming from this VBB and passes through this resistance and goes towards the capacitor and it will not go into the transistor because the transistor is in off state. Then the capacitor charges. When transistor comes into on state capacitor discharges through this on transistor and let it be some RB1 and it is RB2. Okay, a uh, base 1, base 2, two bases are this for this UJT relaxation oscillator with one emitter. Now, capacitor discharges through this RP1. When transistor T, let it be T, transistor T is in off state. Initially, capacitor is having no voltage across the capacitor and assume we are taking the output voltage across capacitor. Always for the relaxation oscillators, we are taking the voltage across capacitor itself. So, when the transistor is in off state, then capacitor C charges. Capacitor C charges. As the capacitor charges, it will be like a sawtooth waveform like this because the capacitor is having very steep, slow charging, linear charge. Okay. And when the capacitor charges up to a peak voltage, peak voltage is nothing but base to emitter voltage. Then what happens? Transistor comes into on state because the voltage across capacitor is directly applying the voltage across the terminals base and emitter. So, directly the voltage across the capacitor which is developed that itself helping the transistor to come into on state. So, and when the transistor is in on state when the voltage across capacitor reaches the peak voltage or a cutting voltage. Then transistor comes into on state and makes the capacitor to discharge through it only. So it discharges like this. This particular period is nothing but relaxation period. And as the capacitor discharges, we are assuming that it goes to the zero voltage, but it will not go to the zero. It goes to a minimum voltage of valley voltage VV. Valley voltage VV. Again, it charges, discharges up to VV and again that charges. So the oscillations are generated between VP and VV. Okay. This is normal procedure of this UJT relaxation oscillator. But here in our sync pulses, what we are doing, we are applying a sync pulse at this particular base 2. This is the negative going sync input, which is a negative going sync input. Because of this negative pulse, the cutting voltage of this transistor will be coming down. Okay. Uh, suppose previous, uh, this is the amplitude I am giving like minus 2 volts and the cutting voltage of this transistor peak voltage is 5 volts. Now, as minus 2 volts is applied at the base 2, the input cutting voltage now will be changed to a new value, Vpn is equal to 3 volts. So, previously capacitor charge has to charge up to 5 volts to make the transistor on, but because of the application of negative going pulse at the base 2, which is having a minus 2 volts, this minus 2 will be uh, eliminated from this input capacitance voltage. So, only remaining 3 volts is sufficient for the capacitor to charge to make this transistor on. This is the situation. Now, when it is like we are taking a condition like the Tp is less than T0, where Tp is time period of the pulse waveform and T0 is time period of oscillations. Tp is pulse period and T0 is time period of time period of oscillations period of oscillations see after 
three pulses at the fourth pulse we will be having the synchronization from here onwards so for infinite duration it will be resulted in a synchronization synchronization is, uh, synchronization is nothing but changing one time once particular oscillator time period to the input time period okay nothing but here after fourth pulse onwards here onwards tp becomes t naught and uh, more more approximately more precisely we can say t naught becomes tp not tp becomes t naught t naught becomes tp because period of oscillations is changing as per the pulse input okay so here onwards t naught will be changed as tp this is 1 is to 1 1 tp 1 t naught suppose if i want to as per the heading of this particular concept frequency division frequency division nothing but time multiplication time multiplication here for every cycles for every input pulse period there is a pulse of the synchronization output but if you take like tp is less than 2 t naught previously it was tp less than t naught that is nothing but 1 is to 1 cycle but now we are assuming tp condition is like this tp is less than 2 t naught that means for every two cycles in the pulse period there is a one cycle in the realization oscillator see let us name the pulses as 1 2 1 2 1 2 continuously and see here let us start from this notation first pulse no touch and second pulse see when second pulse occurred the input is increasing slowly capacitor charges and whenever the second pulse meets automatically as i said the <coughs> capacitor discharges transistor comes into on state and capacitor discharges that is when but actually when there was no pulse it has to charge up to this maximum voltage see, it is also marked here it is also marked here when this second pulse was not there the capacitor has to charge up to this particular value let it be vp and again returns back but now prematurely prematurely the transistor comes into on state because of applying a negative going pulse at the base 2 of the transistor see generally this waveform is applied at the base 2 so i can take it as vb2 and this particular voltage waveform is nothing but v0 or vc voltage across capacitor now prematurely the transistor comes into on state actually it has to on, switch on at this point but now it is switched on forcibly by applying a negative going pulse at this particular value okay and again turns back increases again after two pulses it touches this pulse and again after two pulses so the meeting of two waveforms is happening at alternate pulses at alternate pulses so this alternate pulses is nothing but two times of the frequency two times of the frequency it is having one tp and two oscillation time periods in such a way we are assuming the time period see here sweep period <coughs> sorry now the sweep period is changing see ts is the new period where it is equal to two tp ts is equal to two tp t naught is the input time period input oscillation time period input is nothing but oscillation general time period when there was no synchronization but after synchronization the time period is ts after synchronization see before synchronization before synchronization t naught is nothing but time period of oscillator after synchronization after synchronization it is t naught again we are taking the same value but now ts is time period of oscillator 
oscillations after synchronization after synchronization that is which is ts so ts from the waveform it is equal to 2 times t no t p 2 times tp what is tp where tp is nothing but pulse period pulse period okay so as ts is 2 times tp ts is nothing but fs we can write fs 1 by fs that is equal to 2 by fp which is equal to fp is equal to 2 times fs 2 times fs frequency division or else we can write it as fs is equal to fp by 2 so frequency division is happening here in the case of new frequency in the case of new frequency so new frequency fs is equal to half of the pulse frequency half of the pulse frequency this is the proof okay so in this way we can provide a division also using this synchronization we can also make it to 3 fp by 3 fp by 4 fp by 5 what is the condition suppose i want to make it as uh, let us assume let us assume uh, output should be like this output should be fs is equal to fp by n then the condition is then the condition for synchronization the condition for synchronization is t p is less than n times t naught t p should be less than n times t naught okay this is the condition t p should be less than n times t naught okay this is the way how to produce the frequency division of oscillations thank you